Okay guys, this will be a short video with a problem and hopefully a fix with my uh, Asus 660 Ti graphics card. I hope you can see on video, I'm not sure how clear this is, but my card has uh, started to sag badly. So this is not its correct position, it should be lower. But because it has a pretty big uh, heatsink and it's positioned towards the end of the card, this uh, end is starting to go down. I've noticed uh, this because uh, it's starting to produce artifacts more and more frequent. And I took out my uh, side panel from the case and when I'm moving the card around, the artifacts uh, change or even disappear sometimes. So I'm thinking there are two possibilities. Either it's not making good contact in the PCI slot because uh, of the sagging or actually one of the chips on, the, on this board from the graphics card uh, isn't making good contact anymore. It has a broken solder joint somewhere. And I'm thinking this is also because of the sagging, mainly because this didn't happen uh, when I was gaming. In, in the last month I didn't game at all and this started uh, happening. So yeah, sagging it, uh, is most likely the problem and I will do my best to attach something here, push it a little bit up with a string. Uh, from this. I'm thinking I will bend this down and attach something from here to here to pull it up. I have saw some people online that uh, pushed, uh, uh, put a spacer underneath the card uh, and uh, on the, the case, but uh, I prefer this because uh, at this point I'm actually pulling onto the, the heat, uh, heat sink. If I put a spacer I will push on the plastic part, so yeah, that's pretty flimsy. This are, is the, the heaviest part and I'm pulling onto it, so I'm thinking this is better maybe, hopefully. So yeah, let me just do that and see how, how it goes. You, hopefully you can see it, it, it bends pretty much, so yeah, that's no good. I don't know why they don't have a weight limit for this or uh, at least a way of attaching it to something else because uh, from what I saw online a lot of people start having these problems as uh, graphic card uh, cooling gets heavier and heavier so yeah that's not funny at all okay I have attached the black wire first to the graphics card then to this point here and made this weird uh, <laughs> knot in the middle and uh, hopefully you can see it's pretty pretty tight my wife helped uh, me hold this card in place pushed a little bit until I uh, I did this I couldn't do it by, by myself, myself sadly so I had her help and uh, yeah, it looks way better now. It is still going a little bit like this down and then a little bit up, but uh, this is because of the PCB band that will probably fix itself, but in time. It will not happen in one or two days. It will take probably months. But yeah, now the weight of this uh, this heatsink isn't uh, only hold on by the PCI Express slot and uh, these two screws and in the end it's also hold on by uh, by this, this black wire. So yeah, I, I'm thinking that these huge graphics cards uh, should have some form of uh, supplementar support but sadly they don't. So yeah, hopefully I will don't not have any more uh, artifacts and if I continue to have them this board will go into the oven 
for a reflow and uh, yeah I will make a video with that uh, also but hopefully this is enough to to fix the problem and I hope the problem is in the PCI connection and not on this board but only time will tell at this point so thank you guys for watching and uh, yeah check your video cards for similar problems and see you in the next video bye